When was the last time that you heard about climate change? To be honest, it was probably quite a long time ago, because sadly we live in times where only one thing dominates the news headlines. But if you can think back pre-COVID to when it was climate change on the front pages of the newspapers, can you remember what you read? The likelihood is it was negative, and that's that's what the media like to do. They like to lie and deceive and withhold information, and that is exactly what they're doing surrounding climate change. And that's, that's what I'm here to talk about today, the benefits of the climate crisis. The first benefit of climate change is that here in the UK, we can grow formerly exotic fruits, nuts and vegetables like almonds, olives and grapes. On Brexit Day, Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Cabinet colleagues celebrated with some English sparkling wine. Which is frankly disgusting. Like, ugh, how is it that bad? I mean, there is a reason it's that bad, and that's it's grown here, where the average annual temperature ranges from eight and a half to 11 degrees. And to put that in perspective, the average annual temperature in the Champagne region of France is 17.3 degrees. But according to the Met Office, climate change could increase our average annual temperature by up to 5.4 degrees, which, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect climate for growing grapes. And it's going to be too hot in Italy, so we will have better wine than the Italians. Think about that. And those pesky French, the one thing that they've had over us for years, finally will be on a par with them. The second benefit of climate change is that people will start coming here for their holidays again. I'm talking the great holiday destinations of Great Yarmouth, Skegness, Blackpool, competing with Alicante and Mallorca in the Med. And those poor, poor party goers in Ibiza. What are they going to do? Scarborough, the perfect location. Now, I know that there are some downsides to climate change, like the apocalypse. But when the Earth is on fire, just remember that we will have some mighty fine wine. And Ibiza will be just a toll road up north.